Copyright applies to the following verbal and written content. With the exception of the content owner, complete content excerpts and links may be used for nonprofit purposes only, provided that full and clear credit is given to the following names wherein Diary Single Woman, Diary of a Single Woman, and Miss Anonymous. Appropriate and specific direction to the original content must be used. All rights are reserved. Hi, I'm Miss Anonymous with Diary of a Single Woman. I hope that you have been enjoying my true erotic stories from my diary. Yes, I do have a lot more true stories to share with you, but in the meantime, I have a proposition for you. Yes, a proposition. I want you to take a journey with me. Take a journey into a mysterious taboo and intriguing world of sensual fiction. A world that offers a place for you to escape from your normal daily life. A world that expands your mind beyond boundaries. Beyond boundaries you never knew you had. A world where you discover intimate thoughts and feelings you thought you were incapable of. A place where you can indulge in nail-biting stories. Oh yeah, this is going to be so damn good. I'm writing this lustful, adventurous novel just for you. I've named this series as a tribute to the breathtaking trilogy that had us all glued to our books and movie screens. Well, fasten your seatbelts, or should I say, unfasten your seatbelts and get ready to live life on the edge. Welcome to Fifty Shades of Red. Chapter 14, Part 2. I sit here on the chaise sofa, recovering from Ethan and Dominic pleasing me in a way that I just can't explain. I can't put into words what just happened. My mind is completely blown. Ethan's over at the armoire, while Dominic stands next to his love seat, finishing off his glass of wine. Ethan walks back over to us with a red and gold masquerade mask in hand. The mask is very distinct looking. There's no way to see through it. It seems to be made out of metal or bronze. Ethan places the mask onto his love seat, then commands, Stand up. I rise from the sofa as Ethan and Dominic walk over to me. Ethan to the left of me and Dominic to the right. They begin removing my corset. I thought I would just be putting on the mask, not getting naked. Ethan grabs my hair and quickly extends my neck backwards. My house. Now you finish my sentence. My rules. You're one step closer to the red chamber, Ethan said while slowly releasing his grip from me. I feel Dominic's hand caress the back of my neck. In a soft voice, he says, Be obedient, my queen. Ethan and Dominic go back to removing my corset. I'm standing in between the two of them, completely naked. Never in my wildest dreams would I ever imagine this. Go back to the sofa and lie onto your back. I follow Ethan's command. 
he picks up his glass of wine and takes a few sips before retrieving the masquerade mask. He walks back over to me and puts my mask on. The room goes dark. I hear something sliding on the carpet. What in the world could that be? I feel a hand begin to rub on my thighs, on my outer thigh, then on my inner thigh. I feel something soft start to move across my paradise. It feels like a feather. The feather moves up my stomach and onto my breast, circling my nipples. My nipples harden from arousal. The feather makes its way back down my lower body. I feel a hand push my thighs further apart. The feather flickers over my clitoris. It flicks and flicks and flicks. With my eyesight taken away by the mask, touch is amplified. The feather moves back up towards my nipples and circles them. Then back down to my clitoris, gliding back and forth over it. The feather stops and is removed from me. Which one of us was doing that to you? Ethan inquires. Um, Dominic? Yes, my queen. That was me. I guessed it right. That wasn't so bad. I feel several sharp things rolling up my leg. I jump. It feels like sharp spikes. It's like the feeling of when I get blood drawn at the lab times ten. The spikes roll up my thighs. Ouch! The sharp spikes roll up the innermost part of my thighs, extremely close to my paradise lips. The needle, like spikes, feels like it's pinching my skin. I feel the pinches roll back down my legs, then up my inner thighs, near my paradise again. The spikes rapidly roll back down to my leg. Ouch! Something with rigid edges push into my paradise. Back and forth, there's lubricant around the object, but it's massaging the inside of my paradise walls in a very rigid way. I still feel the spikes rolling back up to my thighs. This is hurting. The rigid twisting and turning inside of me. Ouch! The sharp spikes now piercing my lower legs. The rigid, elongated object going in and out of me. My walls tightening around it. The spikes that are gliding over my legs and thighs begin to slow down. Then stop. The rigid object slowing down its thrust. Then completely sliding out of me. I lie here in the dark. My legs and thighs tingling, my paradise throbbing inside with an unusual sensation, a pleasurable aftermath. Which one of us? Ethan inquires. You, that was you, Ethan. Yes, it was me. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I lie here trying to control my breathing, slowing it down. I hear noises, but I can't quite make out the sounds. Something warm is being poured around my nipple. The substance is thick. I feel it being poured around my other nipple. It smells sweet. The warmth of the liquid causes my back to release some of the built-up tension from the spikes. The warm liquid around my nipples making my breast feel relaxed and vulnerable. I feel a mouth gently close around one of my nipples. The tongue gliding over the warm substance, licking all around, tasting me. Oh, this feels good. My breast 
causing my paradise to enjoy the throbbing, pleasurable aftermath even more. The tongue is licking everything off of my breast. I feel the same thing happen to my other breast. So good. So damn good. I lie here in the dark, enjoying the warm tongue, wanting more of it. My paradise tightening as the licks of the tongue commands my sensual arousal. I feel the tongue slow down and the mouth remove from around my nipple. Who was that? You, Ethan. No, that was me, my queen. Dominic responded. I gasp. Dominic was sucking on my titties? What? I placed my hands over my breast in shock. In shock that someone other than Ethan? How? Why? Ethan let Dominic do that to me? I thought it was Ethan touching me. I liked it. I liked the way Dominic pleased me. No, this is wrong. I'm so wrong. I love, well, I think I love Ethan. My mind is reversed and upside down right now. I think I lust for both of them, both Dominic and Ethan. Turn over onto your stomach, Ethan commanded. I feel two hands help guide me over onto my stomach. I lie here in the dark, wondering what will happen next. Still, nothing. No touches. I start to hear sounds. Is that a lighter? I can't make out the sound. I hear glass. Light sounds of glass. I hear a bottle open. Lotion? I feel hands glide over my entire back, rubbing a substance deep into my skin. My entire back has lotion all over it. I hear another bottle open and liquid being poured into something. I smell something. Like something burning. I feel something hot go onto my back. Another hot object is added. And another. And another. All hot. What's going on, you guys? I inquire. There's no reply. The heat takes over my entire back. It feels like glass on my back. I hear clinking inside the glass. Then... It's lifted off of me and placed back down. What? I feel my skin being sucked into a hollow glass like a vacuum. A vacuum of hot as heat. The same thing is done to the other glass and the other one and another. My back feels like it's on fucking fire. Ah, My skin being sucked into the glasses. The heat stinging. Ouch! Ouch! I said aloud as I start wiggling my toes and moving my legs. I'm in the dark. All I see is darkness. And all I feel is burning pain. Ouch! Ow! Garden! 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 Garden. I bellowed. I feel the glasses slowly being removed from me. One by one. My hot skin out of the vacuum of heat. Which one of us? Ethan inquires. Still in pain, I say. You, Ethan, you did that. Yes, that's correct. It was me. We're all done here. I think you've had enough for one night. This ends chapter 14, part 2. Stay tuned for chapter 15, part 1 to find out what happens next. Q.
Kiva survived the game of pleasure and pain, but not without the help of her safe word. How will she view her relationship with Ethan and digest her lust for Dominic? You don't want to miss what's next. Here's a question for you. What's the most kinky toy you've used in the bedroom? Make sure you subscribe and tell a friend. There's going to be a lot to talk about. This is going to be so juicy. Yours truly, Miss Anonymous.